What's up, people? How are we doing today? This is Mark, the iCloud Helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. And yes, I've got some excellent content for you folks today. Absolutely, no question of a doubt. So I've had quite a few comments on YouTube lately regarding uh, an iCloud bypass service for Wi-Fi only iPads with A12 chipsets and above. The news gets better. Checkmate have recently acquired a method to actually bypass Wi-Fi only iPads that are A12 and above chipsets, okay? So I'm gonna show you exactly how to bypass your Wi-Fi only iPad in detail. I'm also going to go into a little bit of information as well, which is very important for you, the people to know. Okay. So first things first, what you want to do, right? Let me just show you that this iPad is indeed iCloud locked. Bingo. Plain sight, right? Okay, so what you're gonna to wanna to do, first things first, you wanna download the software, okay? So head over to Checkmate's website, and that is checkmate.info. Okay, so now, what you wanna do is select this one here, iCloud Activation Lock Removal Tool. And yes, this does work on Windows, it certainly does work on Windows, um, but obviously I'm using a Mac today, so it also works on Mac as well. But for the record, I've got to state, yes, if you're a Windows user, not a problem. Download a few Windows, it will work just the same. Okay, so. So let's get this downloaded. Okay, once the download is complete, head over to your launch pad and let's open up the tool. Okay, as you can see, has to be on the latest version, people. For Mac, it's 5.2. For Windows, it's 5.2.1, okay? Okay, so now I've connected the device check it for compatibility and bingo, there it is. Congratulations, your device is supported. Once payment has been made, your IMEI serial number would be, will be added to Checkmate's database. Excellent stuff. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna proceed in making the purchase, enabling our device to be fully bypassed, right? Bingo, there we go. Okay, so, what I need to point out here is, and this is very important, I have to put this across to you, okay? As this is very important information, you need to know this before you make the purchase on your device. Right, okay, so, where it says it, attention, okay? Right, due to the latest Apple patch, device notifications, FaceTime, and iMessage, those three will not work, okay? We are working on fixing this issue. Please do not order this service if you do not want to wait or cannot accept this notification. So this is, this is why I'm putting it across to you people in detail, right? Those three are currently not working at the moment. And I say at the moment because I, I kid you not, right? In all fairness to Checkmate and all of, the, all of the developers, they are working hard. And I mean hard, they are working tough and nail people, 
they are working really hard to get this to work. So I can tell you now, professionally speaking, I can tell you now, it's only a matter of time until this patch is fixed. Because around, say, roughly two and a half weeks ago, give or take, I want to state for the record, it's the 15th of August, 2024. So around two and a half weeks ago, Apple patched the latest A12 plus devices, okay? Um, which is in my last video, which some of you slash most of you have already seen. Great stuff. So basically, when the patch came into place, um, roughly a week later, Checkmate found a solution to get around it. But that solution, unfortunately, has three problems that are currently disabled. Currently, and this is why I'm pointing this out to you people, okay? Because I'm, I'm telling you now, this is not going to take long. Checkmate... They will have a fix on this very soon, right? And so the three problems, like I said, notifications, iMessage, FaceTime, okay? They're the three at the moment that have been patched, right? Okay. So if you're still happy to proceed with the bypass, which I'm assuming you are, because make no mistake about it, Checkmate and other developers, they are working hard, they are working tooth and nail to fix this. And they will get it fixed soon. I kid you not. Absolutely, no question of a doubt. So if you're happy with that, what you want to do is simply put in your name, email address, and you want to put in my promo code, okay? This will get you a discount off. My promo code is iCloud Helper. 029 right and now let's apply the promo code bingo job done right exactly so once you've done that you've put in your name email address you've applied my promo code you've got yourself a discount and then what you want to do then is go ahead and select by now. And as long as it's a weekday, yeah, then the next day, your device will be ready for you. This even works on Saturdays as well. If you do it on a Friday, it'll be available on a Saturday. Obviously, if you do it on a Saturday, it won't be available until the Monday. Because it doesn't process on Sundays or bank holidays, okay? So I need to state that as well for the record. So I'm going to proceed now, click buy now, and take the next step as it comes. Ready? Okay. So once you've gone through the checkout, be sure to open up the program, connect your device, and simply click start. And as it clearly states, your order is being processed. This shouldn't take long. Then what you wanna go and do is open up the uh, website address and click on check order status. At this stage, you wanna simply input your serial number if you're using an iPhone or a cellular iPad, you can input your IMEI number. Then simply click on check device. And as it states, we have registered your device but your order is still in process, usually takes 24 to 72 hours. Bingo. Five hours later, I had an email to say that it's done. So now once it's done, uh, check your order status again by inputting your serial number or IMEI if it's an iPhone or cellular iPad. 
uh, click on check device and as you can see bingo your order is completed please connect device to checkmate tools to finish the bypass and that's it people you're good to go okay people so now that checkmate have confirmed that the device is indeed added we're going to proceed in doing the bypass so what we want to do launch pad checkmate make sure your device is connected and simply click on start As you can see, bypassing process. What I know for sure is a lot of people are going to be happy to know that this is actually working on Wi-Fi only iPads as well, you know, and their A12 plus devices too. So yeah, yeah, really happy about that. And there we go. Congratulations. Thanks for using. Thanks for using. Sorry. Thanks for being a valued customer. Thanks for being a valued customer. You are so important to us. Please share your feedback with us so we can help deliver the best unlocking services on the market. Now be sure to leave them a review if you if indeed you're happy with their service which i'm guessing <laughs> you know nine times out of ten that's certainly going to be a big yes okay so now that's done we'll disconnect this now no longer need the mac again it works on windows as i stated earlier in the video so Let's just turn that on the iPad so you can get a clear picture over there. Brilliant stuff. So first thing I'm going to show you, settings, about, and as stated, it is indeed an Apple iPad Pro 12.9 inch, fourth generation, model number A2229. There it is, people, and it's Wi-Fi only. So what you could do, you can sign into iCloud, you can use the uh, App Store, download apps, use pretty much all the functions that, that you want to use, basically. Face ID works, everything works on it, apart from what, what I stated earlier in the video, which are the three obvious things. And again, yes, they're working tough and nail, they're working really hard on it and they are certainly going to get it done soon you know so facetime iMessage notifications people it's getting done soon absolutely it is no question of a doubt so as you can see so that's there i've shown you the about information you know the device bypass is done so now what i'm going to show you is that the device is fully untethered okay so let's go ahead and power it off. Bit 
a few seconds and we'll power it back on again. Bingo, fully untethered. And as well, what I need to point out is also what they do have, just like with the iPhones and the cellular iPads that work on this very same method, yeah, is indeed the fake reset. And I'll do that for you now to confirm that it actually works on Wi Fi only iPads as well, okay, people? So transfer or reset let's go ahead erase all content and settings continue and let's confirm with the arrays so let it erase now because as you know with the previous methods where they were using jailbreak exploits if you were to erase all content and settings on them what would that do exactly it would bring back the iCloud activation lock and then in which case then you would even need a computer to do to re-bypass it um yeah and that's clearly not the case with this so you've got nothing to worry about and there we go it goes straight back to where it is so the fake reset which is an excellent method. It's an excellent tool in place to fake reset. I really do like that. A lot of people have said about the fake reset, it being so good and all, you know. Um, uh, I need to state for the record, so this works currently on iOS 17.5.1, 17.6, and 17.6.1, okay? That... Uh, they are the betas that it currently works on all right so now you know that and again regarding with the facetime i message notifications yes there's going to be a fix on it soon because these developers they're top notch and they're working really hard and you know hats off to them they will crack this people 100 percent, they will believe me no stone will go unturned. I assure you of that. Absolutely. Be sure to check out the rest of my content. I know most of you have seen my previous video on uh, the latest iPhones and cellular iPads. Um, if you haven't, that video will be in a link below uh, the description. Uh, so basically, you can watch it there if you haven't seen it already. Be sure to use my promo code. Folks, you get yourself a discount off. It's a win-win all round, so why not use it? And yeah, you know, I've got I've got a lot of content on my channel. Um, anything to do with encryptions, whether it's iCloud, remote management, etc. And I cover all devices as well. So you've got uh, iOS, iPad OS, Mac OS, and Watch OS. So I cover MacBooks and watches as well, people. There we go. Uh, be sure to share. Smash that like if you feel as though this video has helped you. And most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Because even though there's loads of content on here, there is plenty more content to come. Make no mistake about it. It is. Thank you. This is Mark, the iCloud Helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. Bye for now, my friends. Bye for now.